So, look, everything we've been saying is coming to pass, all right? So, hey, no more excuses. There's no more excuse for you guys to say, oh, that's not going to happen in my time. That ain't going to happen when boom, boom, I'm dead. No, nah, man, you about to go through that hour of temptation, man, okay? Let's go back to the scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 27. Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he see is for many days to come, and he that not, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Think these prophecies are just going to happen, all right, 20, 30 years from now. That's Esau's, all right? That's Esau's motive in thinking, man, all right? You, a lot of you ain't expecting the Lord to come back, all right? And a lot of you not. You're not expecting the Lord how about she don't try to come back, all right? I can't wait for the Lord to come back, man, because, hey, I'm sick and tired of this damn place, man. This place is vexing, okay? This place got you vexing the spirit, man, okay? Every day, vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. Seeing the wickedness of the people, man. And you can fill it in the damn air with these people, man. These proud-ass people, man. I'm sick of it. All right? And I'm just ready for the Lord to just wipe that pride off of you people's face, man. Wipe the smiles off you heathens, you wicked-ass two-thirds, and you Edomites' faces, man. All right? Hey, the Lord's elect gonna laugh in that day, <laughs> like he tells you. And I'm gonna get that scripture, man. Okay? Let's get back to the scriptures. Verse 28, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 28. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, shall power. There, sh there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word <clears throat> which I shall speak, so like which I have spoken, shall be done, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Let's read that again. I butchered it. Ezekiel 12, verse 28. Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, shall power. There shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord, Yahweh, So his words are going to come to pass, man. And we read that in Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall his words be that come out of his mouth. It shall not come out void, man. The Lord's word is not going out void, okay? All right? So if you think the Lord's word is going out void, then you better think again, man. Okay? All right? <clears throat> Let's go to Luke chapter 6. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 21. All right. Luke chapter 6 and verse 21. Blessed are ye that are hungry now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh, man. And hey. The men of the Lord, the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect, all right, no one with part of that number, we're weeping now, man, all right? We're weeping because, hey, we're sick and tired of this damn place, man, but we going to laugh, man. The Lord says we going to laugh, man. We're going to be joy. We're going to rejoice when we see the downfall of the wicked, man, when we see the reward of the wicked, all right? Seeing you wicked-ass two-thirds getting jacked up out here, we going to laugh, man, all right? The glory of Hashem is going to use his man to laugh at you. All right. Verse 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. All right. So, hey, the Lord said, bless. You are blessed, man. And we're blessed. We should be counted to be blessed, man. All right, we don't want to be in the company of these wicked ass people. I know I don't. All right, I don't want to be in the company of these people. All right, no, I don't. Verse uh, 23 Rejoice ye in that day and leave for joy, for behold, your reward is greater in, is great in heaven. For like in the, ma for in the like manner did they did their fathers unto the prophets. All right, so hey. Like it says, great is our reward in heaven, the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to inherit everlasting life. We're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. We're going to have these devils and these heathens under our footstool. Hey, we're going to rejoice, man. Okay? Verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, 
For ye have received your consternation. Two-thirds of you have received your consternation on this side, man. All right? Hey, hey. It's about to be your turn, man. All right? Verse 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep, man. All right? Why, well, like it says, man. Well, hey, a lot of the rest of the world is mourning and weeping and being sorrowful. All right? We're going to be merry and have an abundance. We're going to get that scripture, man. All right? As a matter of fact, let's just get it now. All right? <laughs> let's get it now. All right? <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 27. All right? Be not weary when the, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shall be merry and have an abundance. We're going to be, hey, we're going to have an abundance. Like, like it says you in Isaiah the uh, 65th chapter, the Lord's elect is going to eat in that day. All right? And we're going to get that. All right? Verse 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. How about she on shot? These heathens and these demons ain't going to be able to do nothing against the Lord's elect. All right? And if they try, the Lord's going to lift up a standing. Like it says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, how about she out shot, shall lift up a standard against them. Okay? Verse 29. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell, man. All right? The Lord, how about she out shot, is going to cover the Lord's elect, man. All right? He's going to put head of protection on over his elect, like he tells you in Daniel 12, 12 and 1, okay, that the, hey, Mike, all of the archangels gonna have to step in when shit gets real bad, and hey, things gonna get real, real fucked up out here, man, real soon, real talk, okay, all right, um, yeah, I made my point in that, let's move on, let's go to Isaiah chapter 65, and let's see, Mm. Yeah, I'll start verse 12. Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer, but when I slaughter, when I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did not choose that wherein I delighted not. Alright? Two thirds of you do that, man. You wicked ass Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? Verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord, how about she shall have power? Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. The Lord's servants are going to eat in that day, all right? Verse 14. It's not, not verse 14. Let's continue on. Verse 13. It's not again. I'm going to start at the top again. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, she shall have power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right? The Lord's servants are going to rejoice. Happy. All right? That you Israelites and two-thirds of you and you heathens and you Edomites finally getting what you deserve, man. Okay? All right, verse 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. Okay, and hey, judgment is coming to this place, man, and it is rightfully due. Let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 5. There, Slide thus said the Lord, Yahweh, shall power, and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Verse 6, the end, an end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it's come. All right? The end is near, man. And this is what we're prophesying to you, Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That the end is near. All right? The end of this wicked age is about to come to a conclusion. All right? This is the end. All right? This is the end of the age of of the rulership of Esau, even the so-called white man. And Jacob is about to be next, man. We got next, all right? Lord willing, all right? Verse 7. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. You hear? You see that? The day of trouble is near, man. And as a matter of fact, I got to just go and get it. 
Let's just go on again, man. Got to go to Jeremiah. All right, Jeremiah chapter 30. And this straight to the point, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect are going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. Okay? All right? Only the elect are going to survive. It's all about the elect, man. The Lord's hopeful elect. Lord, when we're part of that number. Okay? Now let's go to, uh, let's go to Joel. Two and one. Okay? Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's what we're doing. We're blowing that trumpet. Sounding the alarm. All right? But hey, <clears throat> that trumpet and that alarm is about to come to a screeching halt, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai is about to pull back his word. All right? From his men. All right? And we're getting very dangerously close to that. So you Israelites, you better take heed to this word, man, while you still got time. Take heed to this word and get this truth while you can. Because the Lord is about to pull back his word, man. Okay? Joel 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm upon my holy mountain. Let all the, inhab let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai coming, for it is nigh at hand. Alright? It's near. So, hey. The day of trouble is near, okay? All right? Uh, yeah. Let me make my point in that. And now let's go to Daniel 12 and 1. All right? We're just rolling in the spirit. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only a left are going to be found written in the book, man. Okay? Now let's go to Second Interest, chapter 7. And let's see. Mm. Yeah, right here. Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. What time? The time of Esau, Edom's rulership, man. And the day of doom is near, man. Jacob's trouble. Okay? The day of destruction. All right? And the beginning of immorality for to come wherein corruption is past. Okay? Esau is the end of the world. All right? And Jacob was the beginning of it that followed, man, where corruption is past. The corruption, the end of this wicked age, all right? Verse uh, 44, Interpret, intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. This truth is sprung up, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? So, hey. No more wickedness is about to come upon this earth, man. All right? The kingdom of heaven, where no more wickedness. All right? Hey, we about to have these devils on our footstool. All right? Hey, these uh, heathen nations, it's going to be their turn to suffer, man. All right? Verse 45. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. All right? And who got the victory, man? The Lord's elect. We're going to get the victory in the end. All right? We already gotten the victory. But we just got to hang tight and watch these prophecies unfold. Okay? Verse, uh, let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 7. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwells in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding, sounding again of the mountains. All right? That day of trouble is near. All right. Verse 8. I sh now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways. And I will recompense thee for all thy abominations. Okay. Verse 9. And my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways and 
the abominations that are in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord and how about she outside that smite him. So the Lord is coming back to a whole lot of killing, man. Okay? Alright. Let's go back. Now let's go back to Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 5. Alright. <clears throat> All right, Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse five. Behold, the it's like, behold, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, so wickedness have exceedingly polluted this whole earth, man. All right. The wickedness of this place have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And as a matter of fact, let's, you know what, look at that. All right, let's go to Revelations chapter 18. And I'm going to read verse 2. I'm going to start verse 2. Revelations chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, is and has become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every foul spirit, and a, a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. That's the post-destruction of this place, man. That's what's going to be left of this place. Nothing, nothing else is going to inhabit this place after this destroyed, man. Okay? Verse 3. For all nations... Have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. All right, verse four. And I heard an <clears throat> excuse me. Verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues." All right, spiritually come out of this place, man, because this place is about to get judged, man. Judgment is coming to this place, horrible judgment, all right? And also, this is going to come when we're being called into the chariots, man, okay, which is also coming. <clears throat> Verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities, all right? Let me get a drink of water right quick, so not you. <clears throat> getting, throat getting kind of dry there. All right, now we can continue, all right? Revelation chapter 18, verse 5 again. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. This place is doomed. This place is doomed for destruction, man. It's fit for destruction, man. And the destruction is coming, okay? All right? Verse 6. Reward her as so now they reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her words in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. This place is about to receive double for what is done, man. Verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. Excuse me. For she said in her heart, I see the queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's the mindset of these Edomites, and that's also the mindset of this wicked-ass place. That this place will never see destruction, okay? Who, like it says, who can make war with uh this place, man, okay? And say, who is able to make war with her, all right? Hey, these nations are preparing war against Babylon, the great America, okay? <clears throat> Verse 8, therefore shall her plans come in one day. All right, and we just read that in uh Second Genesis chapter fifteen, verse. All right, sec, slot, slot, uh, getting tongue twisted, slot. You're sorry about that, man. Good lord. <laughs> all right, we just read that that the plagues are coming upon the whole world. All right, and not just here in Babylon, but on the whole world, man. Okay, but mostly here, okay, because hey, this place promotes wickedness, man. Babylon the Great, it promotes the wickedness, the alphabet lifestyle. It telling the women that they can abort their babies and murder their babies, man. And all the wickedness that comes out of this place, all right? And then you got the whole world following after this place, man, all right? But these people are waking up to the bullshit, man, all right? And these nations, they're sick and tired of Babylon the Great America. And they're going to soon rain the missiles down upon this place, man. Let's read this again. 
Revelation chapter 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her plans come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the glory how about she outside, who judgeth her. Verse 9, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right? They're gonna, hey, these nations going to see the smoke of this place, man, when them 200 million missiles, man, hit. Okay? This place is going to be totally annihilated and wiped out the face of the earth. Verse 10, Standing afar off of the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. All right? One hour is all it's going to take for this place to be destroyed, man. Now let's go back to 2nd Israel chapter 15 and let's see, I'm going to pick up a... Yeah, I'm going to read verse 6 again. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Verse 7. Therefore, said the Lord, Yahweh, you shall have power. All right. Verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they exercise, like which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's what we're doing, man. We complain continually, man. Sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Verse 9. And therefore said the Lord, how about she shy? I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Alright? So this place is due for destruction, man. Okay? And who's going and who has shed the most blood in this land? Esau, even the so-called white man, he has not used his sword in vain, man. All right? And he, Lord Yahweh is going to soon require that blood, man. Like he tells you in Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. The land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed to him, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay? And Esau, he's got a lot to pay for, man. Okay? All right? <clears throat> verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will... Not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Verse uh, 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof. Okay. So plagues are coming upon this place man. And I like what I tell you. Enjoy your little holiday man. Because after that. The real fireworks is about to begin. Okay. And we ain't talking about the ones you people pop on the 4th of July and New Year's Day, man. Okay? So call it New Year's Day because January 1st is not the actual New Year. All right? Spring is the actual New Year. Okay? So chaos is coming, man. Okay? The Lord Yahweh is about to do a miraculous work in this place. Okay? So, hey. All you people out there that celebrating it on there, you better make the best of it. Especially you damn Edomites, man. <laughs> you Edomites, you better make the best of it. Because, hey, after that, yeah. Verse, uh, verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that your house shall bring up on it. All right? This place, it's like this place Egypt, which is modern day Egypt, which is Babylon, the Great America, is about to be smitten with plagues and punishment. All right, this place is about to be punished for the wickedness that it has done. Okay, verse thirteen: They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting, and and hell, and with a fearful constellation. All right, I did a lesson about those uh, moron crickets and those um. Those grasshoppers devouring the crops, man. All right? <laughs> this place is done, man. Okay? This place is automatically finished. All right? This place is done. Okay? Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another in swords in their hands. People about to be fighting over food. Water, everything, man. Okay? Home invasions are about to increase. They already are, but they're not being reported on the news, though. All right? 
home invasions are increasing rapidly, okay? But they're not being reported, all right? There's a spirit being put on people, all right? To do all kinds of wicked acts and wicked things, okay? So, hey, this place is overdue for judgment, man, okay? Verse, uh, verse 16, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are not going to regard the police, the uh, security guards, none of that, man. The mayors, the senators, the governors, not even the president of the United States. People are going to take matters into their own hands when they can't feed their families, when they can't feed their children, okay? Shit's about to hit the fan, man, all right? Shit is about to hit the fan, and this place is over, all right? This place is long overdue for judgment, all right? What was that? It's knocking. <laughs> Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law, checkpoints, man, okay? Hey, we're on the verge of that, man, all right? We are on the verge of that happening, Okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Food shortages, okay? Like I said earlier, the wheat runs out in, in five to four weeks, man, okay? So this place is done, man, okay? This place is out of here, okay? The destruction is near, all right? So, hey, we keep telling.